Hi, we are about to tear our kitchen apart with limited skills and money. Can we actually save and do it all ourselves? Or was this a mistake? <laughs> if you're new here, we recently bought a home sight unseen. It was built in 1993 and was never renovated. When we stepped inside for the first time, it was a little like stepping back in time. Subscribe and follow as we bring this home into the 21st century with only basic construction experience and a tight budget. We are definitely going to have to get creative and do a whole lot of learning along the way. I don't even know what I'm looking at. Let's see here. Oh boy. After painting the entire interior of our home, it's finally time to start this extreme DIY budget-friendly kitchen reno. Uh, the kitchen needs some rearranging. Obviously, it's a mess right now because we're halfway living here. But uh, I'm not going to move this dishwasher or the sink, but this is too close. We're going to take the stove, move it over here. So this will just be cabinets all the way across um, with countertop going around. We are going to take that out and I think use this one for here so it's all even with the backsplash and then we're gonna move this I don't know suction thing to here no cabinets up here so just be an open wall with the stove and that dealy over there uh, backsplash and here we're gonna leave this tall guy I'm gonna remove all this the fridge is gonna go in there here I'm gonna rip this wall out a few feet maybe to like here and then put a similar cabinet on this side cabinet cabinet one going on top which will probably be this one uh, even and it'll like encase the uh, the fridge it'll eat into this laundry room a little bit but it's pretty big in here so I think I think we could still fit a washer and dryer in worst case if it doesn't we'll get a stackable all right, it's time to start ripping this apart. This guy has to come out. I am going to cut the edges of this. So I'm gonna rip the paint all out. Try not to cut my finger again. I think this will be pretty straightforward to remove. So I just took two screws out that were holding this. Um, these side pieces were holding down the counter. So once I remove those and these four um, screws that were going up, then uh, the countertop is loose. Now it's here, ready for trash. So those two guys are gone. We'll look down here. There's probably maybe maybe a couple down here. I don't see any more. So. For all intents and purposes, this thing should just come right off side one. So I'll take that out. That should be it. Bottom's all gone. Let's get the top. I think hopefully just these screws. The other one had some side screws. I don't see any here. Uh, should be good there. Take these guys, probably a row up there. Let's thing out of here. So all these screws were stripped. I turned the camera off to troubleshoot, forgot to turn it back on, and didn't get to film actually removing the cabinet. We got pipes going for the scrap. I'll leave that one for now. So you're just taking off the brackets? Take off the brackets. And then once the brackets are off, the strings coming off. I hope that your back is. It's feeling the paint and go. She. She the paint. I need. A little extra leverage here. Uh huh. Uh, 
good enough. Well, the good thing is there's more inside. Oh, good. Can't wait till somebody who knows what they're doing wants this. <laughs> right, you ready? So ready. I should be helping, but you know, Please. camera, camera duty. Yeah. What happened? You okay. You know, he catches your nail and like flips the nail. This one, just a little one of those guys. <laughs> the big deal. Got nine more. Take a bunch of nails out. Maybe I can pull this thing off a little easier. Mm -hmm. Like take the nails off here and just try to rip it the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> didn't work out as planned. Right. Have you ever taken down a wall before? Uh, not like finished like this. Like I moved, you know, those in framing state, but this is the first time I've had it. I measured this, the fridge, fridge 36. Wide. The other cabinet was, I don't know, 23 and a half. So mm -hmm. I added all that. It comes out to here is how much we got to rob from this uh, closet. But I, I don't know, leave an inch around the fridge to like slide. So I added two inches to that. So I think I'm going to put it here. So I'm going to draw a line up because I'm going to pull all this off. Yeah. I already started to here, but it's not uh, beyond repair. So I'm going to put a line up here. I'm going to slice it. I'm going to slice it up here and then take this square off. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, all of this will have to be moved to the outside of the 65. So all this is going to be like here. And then that's our new door opening. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. We'll bring in the over here. So Wanda talked to his contractor friend who told him a half inch each side of the fridge. So now we're he's marking it off at 60 and a half inches. Yes. Just make sure we get a couple more floors because I do I hate sea rock, so like minimum amounts of repair is the goal here. <laughs> what? Just a piece from Man, the the <laughs> uh, Ah, the ceiling. <laughs> the original. <laughs> buff out. Just don't be there anymore. Do you want to save a sample of this uh, border? You can put it back in here. Uh, I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, okay. no. Don't think we'll be putting this back anywhere. Now, there's a pipe right here. There is? No, I'm saying if there is, we're just building this back. Okay. Yeah. Really 
Should we keep the phone on? I think we're good. Oh, right through the uh, oh, right baseboard where exactly I'm going right <laughs> Yeah, I plan to do that. This is exactly how I plan this to go. <laughs> was to cut this right here. I probably have a tool for this, but it's easier to just hack it. Looks good. Yeah. Now I just have to go through that same struggle one more time. <laughs> Why would it be wants you? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna need that. Oh well, great. Why are you doing this? Let it fill up. Yeah, yeah. Push it up against the wall. Hell yeah. <laughs> Whoop! Okay, good, just for me. <laughs> Alright. Wow. <laughs> you might be wondering why we're suddenly in our primary bathroom during our kitchen reno. We decided we did not need this built-in vanity, and to save money, we will be repurposing it to frame the right side of the fridge with cabinets. So you're unscrewing the top from yeah. the base? Yeah, you won't screw the top from the bottom. Oh my god, look. Oh no, guy! <laughs> <laughs> look, like the cabinet's like screwed to the neighbor's house. <laughs> Very good. So you kind of have to like lift it over the plank? Yeah, yeah. Well, at least it's huge and heavy. And... Well, it just has to be in the kitchen. <laughs> Maybe if we do one of these, it'll yeah. happen. Just do that. All right, here, I'll get out of the way. So That's what go. happens, ready? Didn't work. Try it. No, oh, still there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, probably should have measured the door to see if this thing would fit through there. So should have been step one. I skipped step one. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. It is wider this way than it is in depth by a quarter inch. This is 23 and a quarter, so it moves slightly less, but I have to take the doors off if we decide to flip it. But I think maybe we'll give it a try this way, just like bring it up to the door, because I think we do have an eighth of like wiggle room. 
probably gonna scrape a little bit, but you know, we got six gallons of paint. That's going to be all for today's video. Next time we will start installing cabinetry around the fridge and framing out the new laundry room wall. Make sure to tune in and don't forget to like and subscribe so we can keep bringing content like this. Come on, miss. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like myself right in the middle. <laughs> oh, no. Probably slow mo that. <laughs> I'll slow mo that one a few times. <laughs> <laughs>